So when I tuned into the other side and asked for an update on Bernie Sanders, the divine himself showed up and he wanted to say thank you for your blind faith. He knows how difficult it is to continue speaking your truth and continue feeling the burn. And so he wanted to let you know that he appreciates and respects your strength and your courage and your fortitude. In light of all the circumstances going on in front of your face, you are still trusting your intuition and thereby strengthening it, strengthening it but you are also having blind faith in a divine plan. So he is thanking you for trusting him that he's going to take care of you. And he's also saying, get your brownie points now. Cause again, he's showing me that wall that comes down when he does become the nominee. That's where the divine separates those who believed without seeing versus those who believed after seeing. So do you see how your blind faith means more now? Blessed are they who believed without seeing. So he just wanted to say thank you. And, um, yeah. And then along those same lines, he wants you to ask for signs. Don't be shy about asking for signs. They have the ability to show you number sequences. Number 11 and 55 are their two favorites. The 11 is letting you know that your spirit guides, your own personal team of guardian angels who live on the other side are hanging around you. And the number 55 is saying, um, stay optimistic about the future. So they'll, they'll show you those number sequences on license plates, receipts, uh, clocks, just to let you know that they're around. They also have the ability to send you dreams. They have the ability to send your loved ones dreams. The other side is very, very powerful. So just remember that and don't be afraid to ask for signs along the way because they will provide those to you. Um, I'm not saying that you're always going to get what you ask for, but at least put in your request. Um, they'll also send you recurring thoughts and feelings to let you know that you're on the right track. You'll just think about Bernie and you'll just get this feeling of joy or calm. So pay close attention to those feelings and, um, and thoughts that, that they're sending you. Another thing that they wanted me to let you guys know is to be aware of sabotage. And this is coming from multiple sources, but one of them is just people making fun of you and ripping on you. They're just speaking for the dark. They're giving a voice to the dark. So you don't have to play into it. It's just going to escalate anyway, and it will have no purpose. It will serve no purpose. So don't be afraid to forgive and delete. Don't be shy about that. Forgive and delete. But also just with regards to doubt, fear, pride, ego, all that negative emotion is just the dark sabotaging you. So blow it away like a storm cloud that has just come into town and needs to be cast off from you like a negative energy. Don't own it. Um, the fear sets in, the anxiety sets in, the embarrassment, that's the embarrassment's coming from your ego. Um, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. That statement's very true. Just cast the fear and the anxiety off. Um, and then of course, you know, pride and ego. Uh, don't let them shoot your kite down. And you know, it, it's like, you're just being sabotaged by the dark. They're like trying to get you to shut up with negative emotion. So. Don't let that happen. Don't let them win. Take back the power. And of course, as I mentioned on my Facebook page, use your sense of humor as a tool because your sense of humor resides in your personal power energy center, your solar plexus chakra, or your manapura. So don't be afraid to bust out that sense of humor. Keep it light, right? Raise everybody's vibration, bring them closer to the angelic realm. Keep it light. Um, another thing is when your friends, family, strangers, whatever, do make fun of you, just tell them to meditate. Just say, you know what? You know what you guys need? Aside from love, you guys need some meditation. And after they flick you off, you can say, come on, man. Really? I'm just kidding. But really, they do. They need meditation. Because a lot of times, if people aren't in touch with their own heart, they're not in feeling mode, they're in thinking mode, so they're all in their head. So a lot of times meditation is to really get in touch with their heart and their soul and their feelings and their true core. So if your friends and family did take, take the time to meditate, they would realize that Bernie's everybody's highest good. So that's all I really need, baby. Meditation. Um, so I did not vote for Obama back when I was a marketing executive. I didn't vote for him. I was way in my head, way hardcore Republican, way every man for himself. And I was a separatist. Now I am a, uh, 
democratic socialist, but back then, if I actually had meditated and gotten in touch with my heart, I probably would have voted for Obama, to be honest. Um, looking back, uh, another thing is God has a plan, and so he knows that you guys are uncomfortable and a little stressed out at this point. He is letting you guys know that he already has you in his corner, so now it's his job to go and get everybody else in his corner with regards to Bernie Sanders, so just be patient and understanding with regards to that. Um, trust that he is working on doing that right now. Um, just so you know, my reactions to things are a little different from everybody else's. October is upon us. And a lot of other people's reactions to that are, oh my God, it's October, Christine, what the heck is going on? My reaction was, cool, October's here, it's about time. Why? Because I saw everything happening in October. I can't tell you what week or when, or where, or whatever, but I saw it happening in October. I saw Bernie sliding in there in October, and I saw it happening pretty late in the game to the point where I felt like it was going to look to everybody like the other side was hanging me out to dry, and then bam, Bernie slides in there. So have no fear. Have no fear. I actually did see October, so I'm pretty excited that October is upon us. So that was my reaction to that. Um, I also wanted you to know my reaction to somebody telling me that they were, you know, thinking about having Joe Biden in there if Hillary does get cast aside um, for racketeering. They were saying that, you know, the, the Democratic Party was going to put Joe Biden in there. My reaction to that was actually laughter. I started laughing. Um, if I was Joe Biden, my reaction would be like, no, 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 I don't want it. I don't want it. And why is that? Because I, Christine Pavlina, could see the divine plan set in place. So if I was Joe Biden, I'd be like, mm -mm, put him in there. Just no, no thanks. Now, Joe Biden is not me. He's not a medium. But uh, I'm just saying that was my reaction to finding out about another candidate being put in there instead of Bernie. I would hate to be that candidate. Let's just put it that way. Um, and then another thing I just wanted you guys to be sensitive to is just to beware of speculation. I mean, really... Does speculation and assumption have, like, any function at all? I mean, really? It's like reading those articles is just a waste of your time. It's just people making stuff up to scare you and to throw you off and elicit fear and doubt and whatever. You know, I'm sorry, but it's like doubt is the dark. Nothing ruins your connection to the... If you're a professional psychic medium, nothing ruins your connection to the other side. Like, doubt. Lack of confidence in your ability. Doubt. Yeah, so speculation is just trying to place that doubt in your mind and just making stuff up. Well, if this happens, this and this and this is going to occur. And it's usually people just assuming things and aligning themselves with falsity. So I just want you guys to be sensitive to that and also just sensitive to all the emotions swirling around and all the stress. And I really don't want you guys to get caught up in that. Um, I did watch the debate the other night between Trump and Hillary and all I could think was would the real Slim Shady please stand up because yes, the future president of the United States is indeed Bernie Sanders. So I encourage you to keep his name up in the air like a volleyball and continue to feel the burn. <laughs> and in the meantime, take care and be well. Thank you.